So today I will be doing a book haul video of all the books that I got for my birthday. These are all books I'm really, really excited for. There are some new books, there are some books that have been on my TBR for a long, long time. Yeah, I'm also, I'm just excited to read them. Buying books is a hobby and reading books is a separate hobby and unfortunately, much to the detriment of my bank account, I'm a person who does both. So for a change, not having to pay for any books, let's just put it that way, my bank account was singing the praises for me. Let's just dive right in, let's, let's, let's just go from the top. <laughs> so my lovely amazing partner took me out into Manchester this week and basically left me in a bookshop and sort of said, I'll tell you when to stop. And I don't think I've heard better words and I'm in love with this person for life. <laughs> and I think this is one of the best moments I've ever had. Let's see what I picked up, shall we? The first one that I picked up is Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me, which is a very, very thick graphic novel. But this is one that I've heard a lot about. I really, really love graphic novels and of course being a queer story and also just, I've never seen such a thick graphic novel. Like I've seen like thick mangas, but like this is, this is a big boy. So I'm very, very excited to read this. I'm really excited to have my hands on it. Every time I've tried to buy it off Amazon, there's been like a good couple of like weeks where it's like uh, it might take like two weeks to get to you and it's also like 15 quid. The next few books that I will show you are from the gay pride shop in Manchester. Very very amazing place, very very close to my heart. I love going there, I love the people there and if you're ever in Manchester, of course this is not sponsored, please go and check them out. It's an independent bookstore and they celebrate queer books and honestly <laughs> what more could you ask for really? I don't know too much about this I'll be honest. I'm part of an online sapphic book group and I know quite a few of them have read this and recommended it. So I'm very, very excited to have this in my hands and honestly to read it because this will be a one sit half an hour read. It will be well worth the wait. The cover is just really pretty. So just appreciate that one for a moment. <laughs> the next book that I picked up was also from the Gay Pride Shop and this is Trippin' Arcadia. This is a new book and I have heard some fantastic things about this book. I'm very, very excited to own this and it's a hard, like a hardback as well. This is a brand new book. I've heard nothing but good reviews. I don't know what it's about. <laughs> I really, really love uh, gothic mystery, gothic horror. And we'll get to a book in a minute that I've already read <laughs> before filming this video, because like I said, uh, my partner took me out a couple of days ago and this was one book that I was really, really excited about. So I've already read and that was the same genre. So I'm very, very excited to move on to this book. I got this one at Waterstones. So like I said before, I love graphic novels and Snot Girl is a graphic novel I've been wanting to read for quite a while. I know this may spoil my March review video, but this is one of the best graphic novels I have ever read. Absolutely fantastic. It ends on a cliffhanger. It has a lot of mystery. I, I just thought it was amazing. I, I genuinely did. I'll show you some of the art pieces inside. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I sort of want to, you know, buy another copy just so I can take these out and have them as posters. And then you've got like a character design page as well. These are all at the back. Yeah, it's such a great story. And I'm really, really excited to continue to read this series because honestly, this is one of the best graphic novels that I've ever read. If you are on any sort of queer book talk, booktube, anything, you will have heard about this book. This is Delilah Green Doesn't Care and it is a sapphic romance. I am trying to get into the romance genre at the moment. Romance wasn't my biggest genre as in like I didn't read a lot from that and I think sometimes romance tropes can be really really cringy or like I just don't really enjoy them as much but I read One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston and that sort of changed my mind about everything. <laughs> So I'm really, really excited to read this. Like I said, this is a book that recently came out. I want to say February. I, I think I think it was around February that this came out. A lot of people have talked about it. A lot of people have hyped it up. And I'm really, really excited to be reading this. It's pretty, it's quite a chunky book as well. So I'm really hoping that this is the blueprint for sapphic romance because I've heard that this is how it's meant to be done. Before I move on, this is the like gothic horror book that I have already read. Again, I don't want to spoil my March wrap up. But this is one of the best books I think I've ever read. And that is Our Wives Under the Sea. This came out very, very recently, actually. And I was very, really excited about this book. I heard a couple of things about it. Nothing like major, but <laughs> 
this may i'm a massive florence and the machine stan i have like a florence and machine like tattoo this is from the song rabbit heart i knew it was sapphic and that's why i wanted to buy it anyway and then florence welsh runs a book club and this was their book of the month and she even has a um line on the back if it does for florence welsh it does for me let's just put it that way florence you did not disappoint me with these book recommendations i promise because this was the best book i have ever read i got this three four days ago and i have completely devoured this book and i cannot tell you how fantastic or amazing this is again this is definitely spoiling my march wrap up but this is one of the best books i have ever read and the fact that this is a debut novel is insane to me i know that the author has had some short works out before that have won prizes but this is just incredible this is absolutely incredible I can't, I can't say anything else. I can't say anything else. And yeah, it's a signed copy as well. Uh, the author was in Manchester signing some copies. So that's sort of insane. Definitely please read this if you can. But the next book that I picked up was one that I found in Waterstones. Where I live, there is a Waterstones. That's, it's quite a small Waterstones as well. There is a bookcase that someone just puts sapphic books on. And I don't know who works there, but I'm absolutely in love with you and your recommendations. <laughs> this book was on that shelf. Like I said, it usually has quite a lot of queer recommendations. So I picked it up and the, the cover looks interesting. I read the back and I was like, I need this book. <laughs> I need it. And obviously didn't pick it up at the time because I didn't have much money. I had to go and get it when I had the opportunity to go and get it. And that is a, a love story for bewildered girls. I don't know if anybody else has read this. I don't know when this came out. Genuinely, I just, like I said, I picked it up from the shelves and read the back and was like, this sounds like the perfect story for me. I think that this will be a really good read for me. I really hope so. Like I've read the back and hyped myself up. So if this is another Midnight Library situation, I will be so upset. But I'm really, really excited to read this one for sure. Okay, <laughs> let's move on to the ones that my mum got me. <laughs> I went to go visit this Sistine Chapel exhibition in Manchester. It was really, really interesting and it was really cool to go for my birthday. And whilst there, I went to Waterstones. So the first one is The Taking of Jake Livingston. I just want to say that the cover of this is insane. I absolutely love this artwork. And honestly, I am really, really interested in the concept. And I'm really, really happy because this is on a buy one, get one half price table as well. With this other, you'll see the other book in a second. And I'm really excited to have both of these. This book has been a high priority for me. And it was also really exciting to see it like on a table as well. Well, the second book I picked up was Bitter, which can we just for a moment, like the goal on this is insane. This is a book I picked up because of people on TikTok. And I heard some really, really great things about this. I've also heard amazing things about Pet as well, which is the author's second book. It has the same sort of like style of cover as well. I've heard such amazing things about both of these books. And the fact that these two were on a table together I, it, it, sound, it was made for me honestly it was made for me because these are two like high priority books in my amazon wish list and the fact that these two were just sitting there for buy one get one half price so i got sent these from my friend but an amazon parcel turned up the day before my birthday and i was told i was not allowed to open them until yesterday and that is exactly what i did thank you so much to my friend and these are two books that um, were very very high on my list and i really really appreciate you and i love these a lot and i really can't wait to get to reading them this is a book from the author that wrote some girls do and i know that that is a big sapphic book and this is a queer story as well so i'm very very excited to read some queer stories i haven't read some girls do but that is also on my list it is a thick boy though it, <laughs> this is a, a meaty boy but to be fair like once you've read priory of an orange tree everything will fail in comparison but this is a pretty big boy it says it's 334 it's 334 pages i don't know my guy i don't know maybe it's just because it's like Thicker? I don't know. <laughs> but this is a really, really, I'm really excited to hear about this. I think I'm really excited to read this because this is a book I have not seen at all on TikTok. Or how I have once, and that's why I've put it in my cart. If I'm scrolling through TikTok and I see queer book recommendations that I have not seen anywhere else, it instantly goes in the cart because I feel like those are the best books. Like, those are the books you are definitely missing out on. So this was definitely one of those books to me. I saw someone mention it. I saw someone like talk about how great this book was. It instantly went on the Amazon list. And um, thank you so much to my friend for buying me this. Honestly, I'm really, really happy with this. And 
I can't wait to get to read it. This one that I'm really excited about. Uh, again, this is from the same friend, so thank you so much again. But this is Snot Girl Volume 2. <laughs> I have not read this one, I've read the first one, and like I said, it ends on sort of a cliffhanger. The fact I didn't have to wait until payday to find out what happens in the second one is so, so, I'm so happy, honestly. This is one I'll probably be reading later today and i'm just so so happy to have this in my hands the two additional books i have to show you are books that my mum's read and she really enjoyed she recently went on holiday and she reads very very fast i did not pick up the fast reader gene from her but she reads books in one sitting they could be like 400 page thick book and she will read it in one sitting three hours and be like yeah that was great <laughs> the two books that came back with her under her recommendation were where the crow dancing and Suspect. I'll be honest, I've heard nothing about Suspect, but it is very, very in tune with stuff that I used to read as a teen. Like I said, a lot of my books came from being passed down from when my mum had read books. So I know that if she enjoyed this, that there's a very, very high chance that I will enjoy this too. And this book, I have heard everybody talk about this book. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, I have heard everybody talk about this book and how amazing it was. I think she took seven books with her and these two are the only ones that made it back. <laughs> she had some opinions on the other ones, let's just put it that way. But she said that this book was incredible and amazing. So I'm very, very excited to read this under under the recommendation of my mum. It's been an incredible birthday, especially because I spent the last two birthdays in lockdown. I can't thank everybody enough, honestly. I'm so, so happy with these set uh, books. I I'm really excited to read them. I'm really excited to talk about them, hopefully once I've read them. And yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm really, really happy. And if you've watched this video, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. I'm setting a goal for the next couple of months. I really, really want to do more review videos. I have a Tender is the Flesh review, but please, 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 as a birthday present, because it's my birthday, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. And thank you again for watching. I shall see you next time. Bye.